Yo, what is good, killers? It is your boy B Man, the fucking killer. I'm back with another video for you guys. I'm back with some anime news for the channel. As you see on the screen, we have more information in regards to the Demon Slayer anime. Demon Slayer Season 2 finally has an actual 2021 release date. So before we hop into it, make sure you get like, comment, subscribe, you're on the road to 1k. Killer killer gang, you know how the fuck we do, man. Also, I'm doing a 1k giveaway on the channel. If you have not, check that video out. It will be a card on the screen or end it. at the end of the video. Either way, check that out once we hit our 1k on the fucking channel, alright? Without further ado, link to the original article will be in the description down below. If you're going to read it on my commentary, but you know, I'm going to sprinkle my, you know what I'm saying? My real shit, you know what I'm saying? So, without further ado, let's hop into the video. There's only one thing we say it's do. Ah! Alright, so it says, the mystery of when Demon Slayer 2 season 2 release date has been solved at last and as promised it will indeed be making its first in 2021 without any little detour all right before we head into the entertainment district for demon slayer season 2 Fumination has announced that it's turning the smash shit mugen train feature film into a seven episode series that will be starring airing in october 10th so for what it seems like they're gonna are they actually gonna put the movie into a seven part series that's interesting because they already had the movie, but the new the entertainment arc was supposed to take place after the movement train. So I, I I see what they're doing. They're trying to kind of take the whole kind of uh, going back to let's do a little bit of Dragon Ball Z, right? When they had the Battle of the Gods and then they had the uh, Revival F when Super came out, people that didn't see the movie they talked about it in the series. So I feel like they're that's what they're doing. They're gonna take that route, kind of put it into the anime series. You know, kind of get everybody understanding what's going on because not everybody got a chance to see the movie. I didn't see the movie myself, although I will want to see it. I should see it. I'm probably going to be watching it when I get a chance to eventually to do that and also watch the actual seven part series just to see if they're actually on tier of what's going on. All right. But that's interesting. I, I like that they're still doing that. And it's good that they're paying attention to the demographic, the fact that, yeah, maybe a lot of people did see it, but they also want to kind of chime in. And give people an insight of what happened after the season one, and so as well as the Mugen Train uh, movie as well, because it's supposed to take place after the movie. So that's good. It's a better safe than sorry route and everything like that because you have a lot of people that's investing in this series. It's a good series. So a lot of people are gonna be like, "What the fuck happened?" This and that. And I like that they actually took that. So that's really good that they did that. So let's go. This is not just a movie chopped up into bits, but we also include seventy. New scenes, new music tracks, new opening, ending, animation, episode previews, and new theme songs. 70 new scene, uh, scenes, 70 new scenes certainly sounds like a lot and it makes sense given the Mooka Train is just under 2 hours long which makes be 6 20 minute ex episodes but will run will be 7 episodes so that's, ex that's seemingly a significant amount of new footage. So they might be adding some new stuff too as well with this that wasn't probably in the movie as well. So that's pretty cool. So those that actually already seen the movie, they might see something a little different here and there in uh, the seven part series before actually going into the next arc. You feel me? So it says, then in all of this leads into the Entertainment District for season two itself, which will be beginning on Sunday, December 5th. We have the official date. The anime, the, Ash, the Entertainment District arc starts on December 5th, so that's in like a couple months where we had, uh, we're gonna hit October, November, December, so about two months and some change or so. So we're getting in there, you know what I'm saying? Um, it will feature a long hour preview, so we actually the first episode is gonna be a full hour. Demon Slayer's first debut in 2019, so fans have been waiting a very, very long time for this. In the end term, the Mugen Train movie broke all Japanese box office records and performed extremely well in the West at the same time. Oh yeah, because everybody was talking about the movie when it came out. Um, another side note is that the fact that the new Demon Slayer's fighting game is re-released on October 15th, which is really, really soon. Which is made by CyberConnect2 and has been animation extremely faithful to the original series. That's coming out on all consoles including PS5, Xbox Series X, and PC, and it's full price at $60. If you have not, you better pre-order that shit because I've done up some videos with Demon Slayer. I will also have those at the card on the screen, so check those out as well as far as fights, 
new animations, all that stuff. Pretty dope. Can't wait for the game to come out. I really want to play that, man. It's been kind of quiet about it a little bit lately, you know what I'm saying? I ain't been really too heavy into it. But, you know, they, 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 they show some stuff here and there just to keep the spin, the fans, you know, excited and everything like that. And it, But it's around the corner, though. We're going to get that shit in the next couple weeks. So stay tuned for that. Demon Slayer is a unique success in anime, breaking boundaries into film and to the West like other titles before. There's a plenty of manga left to adapt, so I would expect it'll be around for a good long time. And with fewer delays due to COVID, we'll be probably seeing future seasons take less time to arrive than the external wait we've been waiting for season two. Technically, Funimation is counting the seven-part episode train as a part of season two going forward here, but for net, but the never-before-seen stuff will begin in December once that has been wrapped. Things to look forward to. Stay tuned for more info, including new trailers, no doubt, as we get closer. So there you have it, folks. So season two begins December fifth, but before season uh season fifth, December fifth, you know what I mean. And we're going to, before we even head to the Entertainment District arc, we're going to be getting a seven-part episode of the Mugen Train. So for everybody that didn't get a chance to see it, or people that already seen the movie, want to see if there's any differences in it, it's just going to be there for everybody. And then the first episode of the official second season of Entertainment District, we're going to get a full hour. So that's dope as fuck. Let's get it. You feel me? But yeah, man, straight to the point. Love that. Um, I'm excited for it. I need to kind of revisit some of Demon Slayer because it's been a while since I watched it. But from what I remember, it was pretty dope. And I need to check out the movie. I think there's an English dub, if I'm not mistaken. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm going to check. I got to check the movie out and everything so I can get prepped for this, man. But, you know, let me know your guys' thoughts about the article down below. Are you excited for it? Um, the game is coming out on October 15. Are you excited for that? All those type of things in the comments down below. Greatly appreciate that. I love interacting with you guys, man. And on that note, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and roll to 1K. Kill the killer game. You know how the fuck we do, man. Check out my 1K video once we hit 1K. If you want to get into that sweepstakes so that you guys can possibly be a winner. You know what I'm saying? Once we hit that 1K mark on the channel. All right? Without further ado, peace. <laughs>